Welcome to the new show where we bring up four news articles, two by Eric, two by me. He Not the counteroffer? The counteroffer. Episode 23? We're up there. We're, we're starting to explode. Yeah. Our, uh, our view count is going That's up. almost half a year. That's half a year. Uh, it's a lot. And we are actually doing what most people are not doing, which is presenting the news that nobody actually reads. They just see the headline, and that's what they go with. And you we read it. We, we actually got feedback I that we should be headline. looking directly at the camera instead of uh, anywhere else. So I'm going to start. <laughs> Eric's favorite company, Blackstone, also known as a Wall Street Titan, scores one of the biggest real estate trades ever. Wow. Yeah, ever. ever. Ever Blackstone reaped billions because it figured out ha, figured out early that scruffy urban warehouses. It's good language right there. That's that's above Chat GBT right there. Scruffy urban warehouses were gold mines in the internet age. What would you put in a warehouse besides Amazon goods? What would you what would you put there in the internet age? Semiconductor manufacturing. Exactly. Really? They would also put in <laughs> databases. They databases. would also put in areas that no one is going to go to, but you can have memory, storage. They have tripled in businesses. In other words, people that are building these warehouses in the middle of nowhere. I have one example. Going up to my brother's house, this is in the Bronx. There's this ugly building that was windowless. And we passed it every time I was going to my brother's house. And I'm like, what is going on with this building? This is not a place that anyone's gonna live. It's right off of the major highways. And the whole thing turned into Google storage for the area, because it was too far away. So they built a new one, it's windowless, it looks really ugly, it's right off the parkway, but it's cheap real estate. And uh, the last thing I'll say with it is that I have a friend who uh, builds warehouses and he his business is mainly not Amazon anymore. It's these internet companies that need storage and data and databases. So it's a very- So what was the big deal? The big deal is that's the new commercial frontier. Is- But did they do a big transaction or what was the- What, my friend? No, it says- Oh no, they- score the biggest they real estate billions. trade ever. It was a gold mine in the internet age. In other words, they reaped the billions by buying up warehouses that I are see. completely vacant in, say, like Pittsburgh or, you know, some of these smaller Utah? cities. Utah. North Carolina. North Carolina. Business-friendly states. Business-friendly states. <laughs> <laughs> and then converting it into databases or selling it to Google, Facebook, you know, any of these, uh, you know, they all well, need I, it. I was just talking to the guy Etsy. this morning about his two warehouse properties that he bought in North Liberty, North Carolina. 20, Never heard of it. 20 years ago. Yep. And uh, he was telling me about all of the business that's happening around there, the highways that they're building for yep. all this business. But Toyota is building a EV chip manufacturing place just down the street, uh, less than a couple miles away. They're also building airplane parts at another warehouse. So yeah. I see a lot of manufacturing coming back to the United States. I yeah. see a lot of it. They Because of COVID and they had all the shortages, they couldn't. They're, they're all over the world, too. If you're piecing together a car, it's like, this is made here, this is made here. It's all global. There's 350 countries, even though there's not even that many, that are all coming together for one car. And it's like, it's a nightmare. If one part or one wheel or the steering wheel is delayed in Hamburg, Germany, the whole car cannot be built. So would you like a second article? No. You don't want my tangent. No, okay. go on the tangent. Go on the tangent. We, we love tangents. The tangent is that all of this automation and bringing things together is going to cost the company money. So the initial investment is going to make these parts, although over time, having everything together obviously will save money and it will be nice. But to like, for instance, there are a lot of services right now that are charging more because they're incorporating AI. So what does that do? Not only it makes less employees that they don't need because of artificial intelligence, they're actually going to increase the price of the service because of artificial intelligence. Yeah, well, <laughs> the amount, yeah, and the amount of jobs that are gonna be needed to get to this high level right now is gonna be extraordinary. It's, the, it's gonna be a, a boom as long as you can capture the right talent. Those companies are gonna explode. 
Okay, you know. my article. We're done with yours. Okay, perfect. Manhattan's luxury co-op market has its best week in a year. Woo! Wow. Well, we just had our top condo week, right? A couple, oh, a couple, or maybe wow. it, I think no, no. Is it the same article it, and you just took the different paragraphs? It was just luxury sales. Luxury just sales. Luxury sales. Yes. And yeah. uh, this time it included co-ops. Co-ops had their best week. So luxury, as we discussed last time, was uh, four million and up. So the apartment has to be sold for four million and up to be considered luxury here in Manhattan. It's weird. It used to be five. Huh. I don't know. Huh? Well, co-ops accounted for 11 of the 32 luxury contracts signed in New York City. Uh, that is not surprising because condos are always going to be commanding a higher price. So there you go. There's going to be more condo sales than uh, co-ops. Also, you get a discount for buying co-ops, yep. usually, off the purchase price. It's like 20, 25% less. Yeah. yeah, give or take. And pay less maintenance, usually. Yeah. So it is, uh, if you're qualified for a co-op, go for it. But 11 out of the 32, which was pretty interesting. So condo still outsold co-ops, but it was the largest co-op sales week since April 25 to May 1 of 2022. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay, for the week. Okay, wow. Yeah, where 13 co-ops were signed back then. I would love to know how many are cash. I would love to know how many are financing. That mm, would be an interesting statistic. That would be really because you, interesting to know. Eric? You brought up an article earlier this year, probably on episode nine, about how many cash deals are happening. Wasn't it over like 50%? That uh, was in April. In April. So, see, this is the, the problem with this guy is he just remembers things. Okay. Uh, where do you think uh -uh. the Upper top co op was? Uh, top co op, Fifth Avenue. Or, yeah, or. Da, ba, yeah. Ba. yeah. You were right. Upper East Side, but not Fifth Avenue, Park Avenue. 740 Park Avenue. Okay. Uh, if you don't know that building, it is a storied building. They it's actually crazy. have a great book about it. Only celebrities live there. It is like one of Literally. the most tight knit. And it's not like celebrities. It's like heirs to, you know, yeah. Heinz type yeah. of people. They expect that you have money. Oh, yeah. It's who you know. Well, of course. Yeah. I don't even And by money, you it's have the money, hundreds of millions. You still aren't going to be able yeah. to get in. Yeah. You uh, need to know the right It people. was a duplex co op for $23.75 million. Four bedrooms, tall ceilings, fireplace, and a library. Duplex? How, how? how about this? Here's a good answer to your question. Okay. The co op, which does not allow mortgage financing is known for its largest apartments for in wealthy residents. One of the earliest residents was John D. Rockefeller. Well, that's all you gotta know. Other ones were Vera <laughs> Wang, David Koch, and Coke. Coke, thank you, and Ronald Lauder. All right. Ronald Lauder is. I don't know either, but we're gonna be moving from sales to rentals. To sell? <laughs> oh, he rentals. Might need to sell. Yeah, rentals, but why is pricing being driven to high-end co-ops? Here it is. One of the most expensive real estate markets in America. Where is that? Right here. Right here. Right here in the great city of Manhattan. That's is not it a city. the most expensive? Or? Uh, it's probably close to San Francisco. But the problem is, is that they now encompass all of New York City. Definitely you did not just Manhattan. San Francisco. I don't know. It's, no one's no buying way. out there. You know, send us all your San Francisco referrals, please. <laughs> so rents are up in April from last year, almost 10% from last year. And last year was a crazy year for rentals. So rents are up in April compared to the same month in 2022. The median rent, not the average rent, which would be higher. The median rent in New York City is now 42, over $4,200. Yeah, and that's, <laughs> oh that's in God. New York City, not Brooklyn. New York City. Even Brooklyn is super expensive. So right that's now, New York City. City. Yeah, yeah. So that's not even just Manhattan. Let's yeah. talk about Manhattan. Typical rent for a studio in Manhattan is $3,200. One bedroom's $4,200. Two bedrooms, $5,500. And three bedrooms, $7,000. I'd still say that that is low. Yeah. We're about to put a is, one bedroom up. If we had it at 42, we're gonna put it up close to $5,000, a one bedroom. Yeah. I That's mean, how much it increased in one year. If it's in a 42 good neighborhood, to it's very hard to find a one bedroom in a good building but for what, less than $5,000. What have we been saying every single show? The rents are going to drive 
So yes, yeah, because you are starting to look at these co-ops or other apartments where you say, wow, if I can afford the down payment, yeah. even with a high interest rate, I can still uh, pay less than I would in rent. A five thousand dollar one bedroom. So why do people bedroom. pay so much more in rent? Why haven't they come around to that yet, Charles? They don't want to commit. That's exactly. They right. have commitment issues. That's exactly right. I don't know if I'm going to be in New York City in a couple of years. Yeah. Whereas, my job might you know, not be like here. Like the lady we went, met with yesterday, she was like, "I always buy my first apartment." You know. Oh yeah. The, as early as I'm able to buy, you buy. It was funny too. She looked at us like an idiot. She's like, "Why would I make someone else rich?" Yeah, she's that's like, right. I want to make myself rich. And now we're sitting in a beautiful home that, you know, we'll get in this week and uh, eventually sell. Yeah, stay tuned. You will see that video on YouTube. And you LinkedIn. Know, you, know what this and Facebook. you know what this article is going to be. Oh, boy. Something about New okay. York City choked by unhealthy heavy smoke from Canadian wildfires. Oh my God, dude. You're kidding. <laughs> oh my God. You're really bringing this up. It's the most talked about news in New York City. I, listen. You're I, the only person who's like, I what is no this? Oh, is there something on fire I, around here? Oh my God. If something is going on with the atmosphere oh. during my run this morning. I received <laughs> it 30 was really to 35 DMs here. about what are you an idiot? And I was like, I haven't watched the news in ten years. I don't well, know. Well, you don't going even on. have to watch the news. You walk outside. I know. Like, it was like is... the sun. Well, the reason that if you actually open up the weather app, it says that the air quality yeah. is worse than. I that. didn't understand. Alexa was voluntarily telling me that when I asked her, "Is it going to rain today?" and she said the air quality is going to be poor until Thursday, and I'm like, Thursday for what? And Hopefully. how do you know that? Yeah, I don't know. You know, how do you know it's only till Thursday? Well, that was it. Well, everybody knows about it, so I guess we don't really have to comment on it. Yep. Anyone that follows the news, wear, yeah. wear your mask. Yeah. Bring them back out. It's did, on Twitter. Did you throw Twitter. out all your masks, or do you it's still have a couple left? It better be trending on Twitter. That's oh, all definitely. I have to say. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you search Manhattan, I was expecting, I searched Manhattan News, and there on was just Twitter? so much. No, on Google, all okay. this negative news. That's all uh, it is. It's was all un- negative. It, it wasn't even about the wildfires. Yeah. I was thought, thinking that that was going to be the top thing. Yeah. And it was about like, you know. Nonsense. Yeah. This is the funny thing is, <laughs> we just talked about New York City. Everyone outside of New York City makes fun of New York City. Okay. Our rents are crazy high. Co-ops are selling at record prices. And hotels are slam jam with tourists. So as much as people want to say. You know what? Side note then. Side note. Okay. Because I was going to pick this article, but I didn't like it enough. That it wasn't there positive. is a Hilton hotel in San Francisco where they stopped paying the mortgage, seven hundred and fifty million dollars because they're not able to. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what the excuse was. I, I read a bit of it and I was like, "Yeah, this isn't for me." Yeah, no. Come That's on over. Negative. You can't even yeah. stay. No negative news Hilton. here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, stay here at five hundred dollars a month a uh, day at uh, Times Square. I looked up a couple of hotels. There's a hotel right behind here. Very expensive. Yeah, the Knickerbocker, I wasn't which is bring right up over the here. Other, uh, housing uh, solution that we came up with either. 125 dollars a day. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll talk about that next week. It's good that you guys are tuning in. Views are going through the roof. They're all over the place when it comes to audio versus video. I think uh, audio is uh, preferred by a lot of people. They listen to us on the run. So Four news articles every single week. We go live. Any articles you want us to talk about, they got to be positive. That's it. No like negative that. news. That, you know, And especially Manhattan, it's going through the roof right now with pricing all over the place between rent, tourist, and buying. Send us an email, a DM. Tell me. I didn't know about wildfires. I got enough of those, so please don't send me those. But, Do you know there's a wildfire? <laughs> oh, my God. They were, like, mad at me. They were mad at me that I didn't know. I'm sorry that I did not know. All right? So... Enjoy your week, and we will talk to you next week.